look at Cleveland over there. He's obviously cleaning his feet in the pool without making it look like he's cleaning his feet in the pool. Oh, that's nice. That's a good temp. I wonder if this temp is the same on my other foot. Oh, yeah. Sure is a good day for it. Good day for these wet paintbrushes, too. Is the pool too warm for paintbrushes? Peter, Bonnie told me that Joe's very upset. Did you really take his book away from him? Did you just poop and then get into bed without underwear? Wow, Lois, you really got a great turnout for the blood drive. Oh, yeah, the whole thing's going off without a hitch. Except for that mosquito who keeps trying to sneak in. Hi, I'm the new nurse. Get out of here. This blood's not for you. Ah. Oh, look, an empty tire with some water in it. All right, I'm happy again. Well, I hope so, because I've tried everything. Counting sheep, thinking sleepy thoughts. I even hired the Sandman. Sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and good night. Mm, well, these are delicious. Let me just run this by my supervisor. Yes! Lois, Lois, lock the door. Why? It's that lady who comes in, tries a sample, and then whispers about how bad she is. Hey! Oh, my God, you have chocolate macadamia nut. Oh, could I just try a little sample? Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, sure. You gonna buy a cookie this time? Oh, I better just stick with the sample. I'm so bad. But at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad. Or worse. That was the right thing to do, Peter. So, Mom, what are you gonna do with the shop? Well, I talked to the bank and they agreed to take it back. Me love cookie! Nom, 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 Presentation of glory will not be seen. What? Oh, I love that movie. Oh, man, that's gonna leave a big hole in their lineup. What's gonna fill the glory hole? In place of glory, we will be showing Shaft, starring Richard Roundtree. What? You can't just shove Shaft in the glory hole. Yeah, I know. It'd be better to put in that movie about the two girls who meet Nixon. What's that movie called? Dick? Dick would slide right into that glory hole. No, no, Dick's too short for that glory hole. But if you also put in Edward Furlong's movie, Pekka, you got Pekka and Dick in the glory hole, and you got a tight squeeze, but it, it ought to fit. Come on, Brian, you better let go. I told you, this is mine. You're never gonna get it. Just give me the rope. Nobody has to get hurt, Brian. <laughs> Only one person has to get hurt, Brian. <laughs> All right, I warned you. <laughs> My teeth! Oh! Oh, man, I'm real sorry about your mouth, Brian. Damn it, Peter, what were you thinking? This has to be the stupidest thing you've ever done. No, Brian, the stupidest thing I ever did was turn the bubbles off in a hot tub. Yeah, party! Ew, bath with friends. You can drink from these and then put them on your head to be a clown from an Italian opera. Laughing outside, crying down below. Pasta, meatballs, Joe DiMaggio, Felicio, Pinocchio, a pizza pie from Domino's. All of this because I'm singing in the pointy hat. Like I did when I wanted to get out of that boring meeting. Third quarter projections indicate our sales will be down 40%. Why don't we go through the profit loss statement line by line from the past six quarters, which will offer us a good cost analysis comparison that I think we'll be able to utilize as we move forward in the next fiscal year. Hey, guys, I gotta leave. I got a nosebleed, and uh, I don't work here. All right, Brian, first order of business. We have to decide who gets to ride in the cart and who has to push it. Well, I'm smaller, so... The decision has been made. Oh, now I want that one. You are the turkey I have chosen to pardon. Fly free, turkey. <laughs> oh, fudge circles. Just look at Snoopy's original happy dance. Hey, you having a good time tonight? Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Where'd he go? <laughs> He's not in here. Over there! I know. And if I fail ninth grade, I won't amount to anything. I'll end up being one of those bus drivers that parents don't completely trust. You have a beautiful child, Mrs. Roberts. Hey, careful, Meg. Remember what happened the last time I had to choose between you and a TV? 
Don't worry, Meg's holding our stuff. Meg, don't break that soda. Ryan, I'll save you. I'm good in a crisis. After all, I used to work the suicide hotline. I... I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her?